going to go up. You know there's a lot of ways of making a big plastic part. You've got thermoform, you've got rotational molding, you've got pressure form. exciting. You've got injection molding for some fairly good sized parts. But you know what at this show, you know what we found? We found a blow molder. This is Frank. Frank, hey, I'm Rob. Hey, Rob. Nice to meet you. I've never met a blow molder before and you guys know a lot about it and you're from up north. You're from Canada. Absolutely. Tell me about blow molding. Well, blow molding is essentially a tube falling from the sky and two mold halves crashing together. Air gets blown in the middle, the plastic hugs the side of the, the molds, and then voila, you got some pretty big uh, parts, both big and small. And I heard it's also very green. Now, our parent company that we're vertically integrated with is EFS Plastics. They are a manufacturer of 100% post-consumer recycled products. And so, with resin that you and I throw out into the recycling bins every day, we can make products such as this blue bin, this gray bin, or these black barrels, 100% with plastic that would have otherwise ended up in landfills. And you're also telling me that you're not killing any turtles with this either, right? You're absolutely not killing Every any turtle. Every turtle lives. Absolutely. From blow molded floating docks to blow molded recycle bins, Exaplast does blow molding the clean and green way. Extrusion blow molding allows you to make so many more parts per year. If you make about 3,000 to 5,000, you might want to start considering switching your process from rotational molding to blow molding. They're very similar processes, but there are some key differences, such as your annual quantities. Hey, this is Frank from Exiplast Custom Molding. We are a custom blow molding facility. Blow molding is the act of uh, in injecting air to blow out plastic and to hug the inside of the die. So we create very hollow parts, such as this, as small as this, or as everywhere as this. People confuse this often with making uh, the injection blow molding, which is how you make water bottles or some of the smaller ones. We don't do bottles. People sometimes confuse this with rotational molding simply because it's the same goal. We want a hollow part. Rotational molding takes a long time because you have to cook it and it's a very slow process of making sure that all the plastic settles into the corners. For us, the air does it in a matter of seconds and then from then on, it's all cooling and it only takes a matter of a couple of minutes. So your annual quantities shoot way high and your uh, machine costs are be able to share with many other products. So we actually have a set of uh, park bench ends. They're the only ones on the market as far as we're, we know that are blow molded, which also gives us the chance to make it out of post-consumer plastics. This car seat has two armrests. They're made in the same mold and they actually have some screw inserts so they can hang on to the, to the base of the part. We're able to make this composting bin with two hulls and the blow molded lid. These actually used to be rotationally molded. Now they're uh, blow molded. We can also make many different kinds of garbage bins. Thermoforming, yes, usually gets used by companies looking for even higher volumes, but what they can't get is that extra lip. So whereas you might want to say, hey, I need certain dimensions, if you need to access another dimension to create a lip or create a hinge, you might not be able to get that with thermoforming, but you can absolutely get that with blow mold. So over here you can see one of our uh, products that we're known for quite locally is a floating dock that we've made. These get used at uh, Olympics, um, races, kayaking, umbrella stand that can also double as a planter. This is a single version of the rotating composter that can rotate on its base. Of course, the bench ends. This is 100% certified post-consumer plastics that you and I throw into our recycling bins every day. They're brought to our parent company through forms of bales. They can reprocess it into various different grades of plastic and add colorant. And then they're able to produce products that we at Exiplast are able to make as well as other molding facilities around Canada and the United States.